Today we're on the, on the Pole Star, which is a Northern Lighthouse vessel, 11 miles off the coast of Arbroath, uh, next to the Bell Rock Lighthouse. This was the first of, um, of this type of lighthouse to be built and kind of became a model for, for those all around Scotland, built largely by the Stevenson family over the 18 and 1900s. Robert Stevenson was the adopted son of Thomas Smith, who was, the, who was an engineer for the Northern Lighthouse Board. Robert Stevenson inspired his generations of his family to become lighthouse engineers. The Bell Rocks is part of a, sem a semi-submerged reef um, 11 and a half miles off the east coast of Scotland. They say it's called the Bell Rock because in the 1400s an abbot of Aberbrothic um, erected a bell which rang continuously warning sailors that there was danger nearby. In the 1700s the authorities almost become accustomed to the constant loss of life um, and wrecks that were happening on the reef. It was only until 1806 that construction was approved for the, this project which was thought to be an impossible feat. At the time there was, there was no model for um, designing these lighthouses. There was no codes to design to. When John Rennie, um, who was an eminent Scottish engineer at the time, um, lent his support to the, to the case of the, of the lighthouse, um, they made a, a few critical design changes and the design was finally approved. The combination of the, of the self-weight of the structure and the dovetail joints are what provides the, the structure enough strength to withstand the force of the North Sea. The design of the, of the tower and of the optics and the reflectors and the, um, the, the lamp within were all very innovative at the time. They quarried sandstone and granite from um, near Aberdeen and Dundee um, they were brought to our broth and they were shipped to the site where they were moved through a series of hoists and winches and pulleys and even a railway that was constructed on the reef devised especially for the project. The task of construction itself is, is just in incredible really. When you consider this is the start of the 1800s uh, and you've got ships and you've got manpower and, and horses and the moving all these stones, some of them well, weighing well over a ton. The lighthouse was constructed in the summers between 1807 and 1810 and construction was finally completed um, and the light lit in February uh, 1811. So this lighthouse is over 200 years old, but you fast forward to today, the tower is still the same as it was. Light has evolved over the years, so it, originally it was burning whale oil um, on argon lamps. Uh, it then moved to paraffin vapour burners and then electricity um, and solar power. The rest of it is very much original and very little maintenance has been required over the years, which is a testament to the, the engineering that was completed at the time. The Northern Lighthouse Board's responsible for monitoring and maintaining these lighthouses, which is a considerable task. So working as an engineer for them, you, you go to these far-flung places around Scotland and get to see such historic structures, not just important for our engineering history, but now still important for the safety of the mariner and, and supporting them. So I would really encourage anyone, young people, girls as well, to get into this sort of uh, industry. The things you get to see then the, the projects you get to work on um, are just incredible. Both the personal, personal satisfaction and the contribution to society is immense. <laughs>